Third thing that contributes, and I dare say this is actually what drives chronic inflammation more than anything, is insulin resistance. Yeah. So uh, you can call this blood sugar imbalances. It is as a result of blood sugar imbalances that have been unchecked for a very long time. Blood sugar imbalances, I want you to think of it as getting on a roller coaster. And every day you're getting on the roller coaster. And the more you're on this roller coaster, the more severe this roller coaster gets. The higher the highs, the lower the lows. Every time you dip, you turn on the stress response, which triggers the inflammatory response in the body. And when you do that, you free sugar that's stored in your veins to come out in order to fuel your brain in particular, which is what you want. When your roller coaster gets to the bottom of the roller coaster, your brain perceives you're out of fuel and it perceives you're about to die, like not to get too dramatic. So what the brain does is she goes, "Uh oh, I have no food and I need glucose for my brain cells to work. Your brain is the hungriest organ of your entire body, PS. So your brain says, I, I, I don't have any fuel, we're out. I'm gonna turn on the stress response because when I do that, sugar that's stored in my tissues comes out and now I don't die. I don't have time to wait for you to go eat a whole grain and digest that piece of whole grain toast for me to get the carbohydrates into my system, turn to glucose to utilize in my brain. I need something right now because it is immediate and I am about to die. The more you trip that response, the more you're also releasing insulin in that response. The more you release insulin, the more there's insulin coursing around. The more that happens over the course of the day, the less your cells can hear it knocking at the door. This is what I mean. Insulin is a hormone that says, here's a blood sugar. I'm gonna tuck it under my wing. I'm gonna to go to this brain cell right here, knock on the brain cell wall, say, I have some sugar for you, open up. Door opens, whoop, in goes the sugar, close the door, thank you, bye. Insulin's done, she's done her job. The cell has the sugar she needs. Now she can not die. Great, thanks, you're the best. But if that goes on all day, and you're on a roller coaster like this with blood sugar imbalances over the course of the day, the insulin comes and knocks at the door. And if, for those who were moms, who are moms, um, or aunties or uncles or dads or anybody, right? Like grandparents, like, you know, when you have children, mom, 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 look at me, mom, 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 look at me. Eventually, because it's like this constant chatter, you don't hear it anymore. You block it out. And it's the same thing that happens on your cells. They start to not be able to hear insulin, in which case the door doesn't open. And now you've got insulin coursing around the bloodstream, as well as those blood sugars that cannot get absorbed into the cells because the cells themselves cannot hear insulin knocking at the door. Oh, and it's those blood sugars coursing around that do not get absorbed properly that now drive chronic inflammation, which leads to untreated vascular issues. All of this is driven by insulin resistance, which is an issue with balancing blood sugars. Oh, and this kind of stuff takes 20 years to show up. I just want you to know. And it also means that you can put in small things one day at a time, building good practices to help balance your blood sugars. We have solutions today, don't worry.